Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is a joy and privilege to gather together today in the house of the Lord. Whether you are here with us for the first time or have been a part of our church family for years, know that you are warmly welcomed. We come together to worship, to find solace in God's word and to strengthen our faith as a community. May our hearts be open and our spirits be receptive to the message God has for us today. Let us begin with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of this day and the opportunity to come together in your name. We ask for your presence to fill this place, for your Holy Spirit to guide us and for your word to speak to our hearts. Open our minds to understand your teachings and help us to apply them in our daily lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. Matthew 6, 28, 29, NIV. Today we are reflecting on a beautiful passage from the Gospel of Matthew. In these verses, Jesus uses the simple, yet profound example of the flowers of the field to teach us about faith, trust, and the providence of God. 1. The beauty of God's creation. Jesus begins by directing our attention to the flowers of the field. He asks us to see how the flowers of the field grow. This is a call to observe and appreciate the natural beauty around us. The flowers do not labor or spin, yet they thrive and blossom into magnificent displays of color and fragrance. This imagery reminds us of the intricate care with which God has designed his creation. In the same way, we are reminded that we too are part of God's creation. Each of us is crafted with intention and love. Just as God cares for the flowers, He cares for us even more deeply. Our lives are precious to Him and He is attentive to our needs. 2. The Lesson of Trust Jesus contrasts the simplicity and beauty of the flowers with the splendor of Solomon, the wealthy and wise king of Israel. Despite all his riches and glory, Solomon was not adorned as beautifully as the flowers. This comparison teaches us an important lesson about trust and reliance on God. Often we become anxious about our lives, our work, our appearance, our future. We labor and toil, striving to secure our own well-being. Yet Jesus reminds us that worrying does not add a single hour to our lives. Instead, we are called to trust in God's provision. Just as He clothes the flowers in beauty, He will provide for our needs. Eat the call to faith. The passage encourages us to shift our focus from our worries to God's faithfulness. The flowers do not worry about tomorrow, they simply grow and flourish under God's care. Similarly, we are invited to place our faith in God, knowing that He is our provider. Faith is about trusting God even when we do not see the full picture. It is about believing that God is working for our good, even in the midst of uncertainty. When we put our faith in God, we experience His peace which surpasses all understanding. As we meditate on these verses, let us remember the beauty of God's creation, the lesson of trust and the call to faith. May we learn to rely on God more fully, knowing that He cares for us deeply and will provide for all our needs. Let us take a moment to reflect on areas of our lives where we need to trust God more. Where are we anxious? Where are we striving in our own strength? Let us lay these concerns at the feet of Jesus and ask Him to help us trust in His provision. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the reminder of your care and provision through the flowers of the field. Help us to trust in you and to rely on your faithfulness. Teach us to let go of our worries and to embrace the peace that comes from knowing you are in control. May we grow in our faith and walk closely with you each day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brothers and sisters, go in peace, trusting in the Lord's provision and care for you. May God bless you and keep you throughout this week. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.